Hi, I'm Sylvia, and I'm the founder of PowerPaw Studios. What is PowerPaw Studios? The purpose of PowerPaw Studios is to create a thriving, accessible community and business of neurodiverse artists that cre- create exciting media while supporting each other ethically and making fun, exciting, expressive art and stories that connect to the heart. Art for me has always been a way of expressing my feelings, a way of therapy, relieving myself of stress and anxiety, and a way of showing off my creativity. Powerpoint Studios offers art commissions, commissions, art tutorials, and podcast tutorials as well to help people become creative as well. How will Powerpoint Studios help people? As a person on the spectrum, it's hard to communicate communicate because of society, just social anxiety, and it's not easy to get into any art school, let alone any college or job. As some accommodations and also funding is hard to access. I want people to feel they can be creative in any environment without feeling like they are being told they cannot do this because of this disability or that disability. My art, along with my stories I make, will also represent different races of people, different disabilities and sexualities. Also, part balls, Studios interested in bringing people together to help other collaborated projects and businesses strive as both a digital online business and influencing group. Who feels it's fair for people on the spectrum to not be overworked, overwhelmed with tight schedules or stressed, as that's what a lot of businesses tend to do. What was my first story? My first story was War of Fangs, being 12 or 13 at the time with my first device. I studied learning and wanted to write and draw. Sadly, my story never got far because my tablet broke. But that accident, it didn't. After that accident, it didn't stop me from being creative, and I learned to keep moving forward and learn to make something new as times pass. What is the goal of Powerpaw Studios? So you may know a theme with my art. Yeah, I get that a lot. So, anyways, if you're wondering, yes, I'm a furry, but. I've explored other arts such as landscaping, learning to draw anime, and chibi recently, which is similar to anime but a smaller version. While I work on an MMORPG and graphic novel, what if the person buying a convention because they are in a wheelchair? People that are neurodiverse and disabled do not get enough money as it is already to travel to the biggest ventures or let alone pay for it. I decided I wanted to make a VR game called Spec for people that are disabled and on the spe- also on the spectrum. Spectre will be similar to VR chat and Resonite, except for that the fact it will have settings for both blind, mute, and deaf people, both furries and non-furries. It will be used for meetings, meetups, conventions, and hangouts with friends. As come to think of it, more and more people are diagnosed with impairments and neurodiverse and need assistance. assistance. Of course, with most computers nowadays, there's screen readers and audio descriptors, so one day, I hope PowerPoint will be able to help people with disabled neurodiverse community be able to connect in VR with the right accessibilities. By the next time, the next year in summer, I'd like to have Powerpaw Studios' first chapter of our graphic novel out, along with the closed beta of our MMORPG as well. See ya, see ya soon.